IR again. I'd like to introduce you to the Furman 3650 IR. IR, well, I have no idea what that means. But it's a 3300 watt generator. Piece of 3650 starting lots. And it's actually we picked it up at the uh, big tent sale in Quartzsite. And there's, there's a little panel right there you pull off, put oil in it, and uh, other, any other maintenance you want to do. Holds 1.8 gallons of fuel, and it runs, it says on economy mode, it'll run about nine hours on it. I'm not sure about that. Here's starting instructions, and uh, you have a set of starting instructions for uh, the remote, for the uh, electric start, and for pull start. And once you get it started, you uh, put the oil in here, then you add the gasoline, turn the gas on, start it, and then hit this little button for three seconds. What that does is it helps charge the battery as it's running. And these are all the little controls and doodads that come with it. Now this does have electric start. I have the gas off. This is the choke. Pull start. There's a place to put your remote right here. Your start. This is your eco economy mode, which is pretty cool. And then you have the, uh, that's for the battery. A reset, another reset, 12 volt intake. This is a jumper. You can actually slave two of these together, which is pretty cool. Here you have a grounding wire for permanent attachment. And this right here is for your electric start. Then you have an outlet for 110, an outlet up here for USB, and an outlet here for 30 amps. This right here is a gauge to tell you what's going on. It's like neutral floating, system floating, DC floating. You have volts, hertz, and hours. So let's fire this bad boy up. It has a nice little handle for pulling. Unfortunately, this thing, yeah, I know we got the wind here again. Can't get a camera out without getting the wind going. This thing weighs about 100 pounds, so it's a brute. But, first thing we'll do, come on, wind, give me a break. First thing we're going to do is start it up. <clears throat> Turn on the gas. Reach down here. Choke. Let me get down here where I can see what I'm doing here. On. I always do that. I don't just grind it until it starts. It can choke off. For some reason that sticks a little bit. this for three seconds. Thousand one, thousand two, and thousand three. That's charging the batteries. Now when it kicks up, you'll see your hertz and volts come in there. There we go. Both, uh, both my three volts. charger port which if the battery dies you can hook it up to a, another battery and charge it up enough to start it also it comes with a funnel it comes with a uh, quart of oil 10w30 
and a wrench for removing the spark plug of course and if it doesn't want to start you can always pull start it but uh, we enjoy it it's nice and quiet comparable to others and uh, this is what it does sound like on regular run I don't really need to charge that much up that fast so uh, I recommend it now we got this at Quartzsite at the Big Ten. You say, well, you know, where's the dealers and stuff? But this place is out of Phoenix that carries this Berman. And there's a place in uh, Quartzsite. And I'm not, I can't remember the name of the guy, but it's a satellite installation place on the corner of 95 and Main Street. And if you've been to Quartzsite, you know where I'm talking about. This guy carries them. When I first bought one of these, we brought it home, brought it to the trailer, and I started it up, ran it for, oh, I don't know, about seven or eight hours, and uh, went out and started again, and something broke inside. And the governor, uh, I think the rev limiter and the governor were banged up or something, and the thing would not charge, it would not do anything. It just sit there in high idle the whole time. Took it back to him that day at the big tent, and he happily, the owner of the place, happily replaced it with this one. And so far, it's been running pretty good. We enjoy it. And like I say, you can do either slave two of them together and double your power. It's got parallel capable. So I recommend it. I enjoy it. It does everything I need for my small little 24-footer.